Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's D-Lloyd, man. So today we need to talk about Draymond Green, unfortunately, again, because Draymond Green is back on the loose doing Draymond Green type of things, and we fully expect some sort of suspension to take place. Now, what suspension? We'll talk about that a little bit later. If you don't know what we are talking about yesterday or last night, Draymond Green against the Phoenix Suns, he felt that he was being fouled. He felt that he was kind of being tugged on and spun around. He says, quote unquote, he was trying to sell the foul. So he turned around, swinging his arms, all that good stuff, man. And what did he end up doing? Of course, he ended up hitting Yusuf Nurkic right in the face. He got ejected immediately. And now we know that he will probably be suspended. But the question is, how long should he be suspended? And what, you know, should take place really within Draymond Green and the organization. Because this is a very important year. Maybe the final year that we see, you know, the Warriors as presently constructed, right? We know how crazy the payroll is. We know they have, you know, Clay Thompson going into a contract year. He may not be available next season. What is going to happen with the core group? Do they blow it up? Do they turn things around? What's going to happen? We do not know. This was like... We know we have the big three with um, Golden State that we have seen over the last decade, right? We knew they were going to run it back. We knew this was maybe, maybe the last year that they could do this. And Draymond Green has not been a part of a lot of games. He already got one suspension by deciding to put Rudy Gobert in a headlock. And now we have this situation which should lead to another suspension. Now, the action by itself... If this was just any other player, of course, he would have got the flagrant two. He would have been injected from the game. And then he would have been reviewed for a suspension. I don't think anything longer really than two games max a player would have gotten just with a clean record for a penalty like this. However, this is Draymond Green. Not only is this Draymond Green, this is Draymond Green with now his third ejection of the season. Just coming off a five-game suspension for putting Rudy Gobert in that chokehold. So now what happens? You have to elevate your suspensions, right? We kind of seen this with John Morant. The individual action, not as bad. When you, when you start compiling different offenses, then things get worse and worse. And we've seen this precedent set in the NBA in the past, and I expect it here. So he just got five games. Like I said, in, in a nutshell, this one incident, only two games max. I would probably say maybe one game um, is more realistic of a suspension, but... There's Draymond Green, and Draymond Green has that track record, and he just got a suspension. So now you're looking at, at minimum five, right? You can't get less than five than what you just got suspended for before. But now you're looking at, is it seven? Does it go to 10 games? I, I heard some people say 15, some people say 20. I don't think it gets that far. If it does, it will definitely be appealed. Um, I don't think, just because this one incident is not that. It's not 15 games worthy, but... A seven-game suspension, you don't really have much to argue with there, right? You just got five. You're now taking that plus the two that you would have gotten, um, or anybody else would have gotten, and now you're sitting at seven games. Maybe ten games because you really want to prove a point and say, hey, double the, the suspension because this is now another offense. But I'm looking at it between seven to ten games. On the lowest end, he's going to get five, minimal. But seven to ten games I think is an appropriate suspension for this now on Draymond Green's behalf and the Golden State Warriors behalf what are you doing Draymond what are you doing this season is too important for you to be missing games and the Warriors are pretty much kind of panicking now as is you see them with all the lineup changes we don't know who to start do we go with the young guys do we go with the veteran guys what happens with Wiggins what's going on with Camille? like you don't know or the Warriors don't know exactly what they want to do at this point, they're still trying to figure it out, and understandably so, right? That is part of the um, regular season, especially for playoff teams, teams that want to compete for championships. You try to figure things out along the way as you go through the regular season, and that's what they're trying to do. But it is going to be significantly more difficult to do that and try to win games when you're trying to figure things out and the heart and soul of your team is suspended every other week. It's going to be tough, man. So, Draymond, hopefully you figure things out, bro. Figure things out. This is hopefully the last suspension because, like I said, it's definitely going to happen. 
Hopefully it's the last suspension because the, the league wants us to see the Warriors do good. I think NBA fans, even if you root against Golden State, I think you want to see them at least make the playoffs so your team can knock them out the playoffs. They are good for the NBA, but Draymond Green needs to figure it out. Another stupid incident. He did apologize for it. Like I said, he said he was trying to sell the call. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't want to say he purposely tried to do it, but it, it, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to believe that, given the track record, and you know, at some point, the benefit of the doubt cannot be given anymore, man. So that is my thoughts about the Draymond Green situation. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Did Draymond Green do it on purpose? If you were commissioner, what would the suspension be? And do you think the Warriors will be okay with all of this situation taking place, man? Because it's looking probably the shakiest we have seen Golden State win all healthy in a while. In a while, man. Definitely let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. As usual, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's D. Lloyd. I'm see y'all next time. Peace.